Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match once again between Google Frog and Cubey. We're gonna be on Kaleo again, and let us begin. So Kaleo, if you recall from last time I did a match on this, is a really, really dark map, and yeah, I'm sorry about that. I will try to make sure not to get too far away from units so that it's you keep a good glimpse on what is what. Anyway, Google Frog going for Cloaky Bots and very quickly getting up a defender. He must be hmm, possibly going for cheese, possibly expecting cheese. Hube also going for Cloaky Bot Factory. Getting, both players getting a couple glaives at this point, pretty symmetric. Neither player really going for anything too unusual for a 1v1. Though Cube not focusing on early defenses, instead of focusing on early raiders. Ah, there we go, early defender being set up. So both players really expect the other to go for. A light attack with a few raiders. Defenders are really good about for dealing with that, but they don't they don't work if you have enough units because they only fire three missiles before having to spend. They spend about like five or ten seconds to recharge after they fired three missiles. But they are they're still pretty cheap. They're powerful. They're flex against ground and air. If you have a couple of them, they're actually really effective against even a larger group of raiders. But Beam Laser is much more solid of an option defensively. And Google Frog, however, like many players, does have a Beam Laser on his commander. Once again, he's morphed to that. Hubei has not morphed his commander at all. He's continuing to be at level 1, not wanting to spend the metal on that. Instead, focusing on just raiding. And the two defenders are doing their job pretty well, getting rid of two of the Glaze. The Glaze are getting rid of Google Frog's entire metal economy, or almost entire metal economy. The last one, however, is not going to be attacked. The defenders are able to stop it. Five raiders for two metal extractors, not a bad trade, but at this point, Google Frog does have all the reclaim. He can pretty much make up for it. Hubei. Using that to cover some construction of his own, which is what you want to do, sort of, though it's also kind of what you want to do if you have raiders left. At this point, Cube has no raiders left. He has nothing really left. That's actually kind of... <sighs> well, see, the thing is, Cube doesn't... I mean, he has a laser turret coming in now, but Google Frog basically can go for a pretty strong counterattack. Cube is not building any units to counter, to counter that counterattack. He is getting a glaive up now. And if you, he's actually getting five glaze up now, but that's still, Google Frog can attack right now. Right from the right angle, he'd be fine. He actually take care of this okay. The laser turret is the main thing stopping him. That's actually the thing that really would get in the way. But he is able to get rid of the rectors. That is huge. So basically, that attempt by Cubey to attack and then use that to cover an expansion has failed. He's completely unable to expand at this point. Google Frog having rebuilt his economy and able to still use reclaim. So he's been ahead of economy against Cubey for some time now. And expanding as well, using that to expand himself. Since he does have something of a military advantage, since he wasn't going for cheese on his own, he has glaives all along the top here. He has quite a few, actually. About ten coming in right now. And Cubey, on the other hand, only has a couple. Most of the 15 glaives are Google Frogs, so about three or four are Cubeys, and that is not good for Cubey. The only thing stopping him right now, it's about five for Cubey. The only thing stopping Google Frog from attacking right now is the fact that he's much more focused on the late game. He's focused on getting metal extractors, he's focused on keeping map control, making sure he knows what's going on. He's using his glaives almost like fleas. Just having them around the map just so, so he knows what Cubey's actions are, but not for any offense or defense. Just keeping them there as basically scouts. Outpost garrison. A couple ticks, however, coming in. This is very important. These we should be seeing come up fairly soon against this group of glaives, I would imagine. This tick, very important. Where is it going? Is it going to be going for the group of glaives? It needs to go for the group of well, it doesn't need to go for the group of glaives. That group of glaives is actually gonna go down to the fences fairly easily. So Google Frog trusting in his own glaives to stop that that unit from Cube coming in. But nope, not enough. The tick is able to disable two of them, which Google Frog's gonna try to follow up, but basically all he can really do is use that disabling time to avoid having a five on two, even it out to a two on two, and actually from there win. Nicely done micromanagement by Google Frog. Keeping two glaives against a group of five, well a group of three, and then working that into a 3v3 and winning that. So that's nicely done. 
Now, Cube did use that distraction to expand a little bit. He's naked expanding. He is not defending these expansions, so Googlefrog could come in and take them out. Googlefrog, on the other hand, is consolidating his expansions as he goes along. At least some of them. He is getting some laser turrets around the front's most expansions. The ones further in the back, this one over here and this one over here, are naked. And in Southwest, we see that Cube not completely being naked. He is making sure to get some defenses up, but this defender will not be useful. That Glaive basically taking no damage, regenerating all of its lost health, and able to finish off able to finish off these, these Rectors without any issue. Although, it would have been without any issue were it not for more Glaives coming from Cube. Cube continues to produce Glaives. A lot of Glaives. Both players have been pretty much exclusively producing Glaives. Neither one has been producing any... Well, actually, okay, ticks from Google Frog. That has been a big difference. It actually has been a game-changing difference so far. Google Frog was able to win that first battle, though. The match is far from over. This tick will be quite useful if it does come into the right angle. Google Frog appears to be trying to go for a flank along here. Trying to send this along here while Cube coming up along the side. Getting rid of the expansion, but the tick, nicely positioned tick right there where he needed it. And Cube losing all of his glaives that were sent out to attack. More coming in. And an expansion coming on the side. Cubase commander expanding up to the northeast, but Google Frog once again fully aware that his glaives are in position. Google Frog trying to do what he can with defenders just to try to stem the tide of glaives, but it's really doing no good. The glaives you are still able to get in. Cubase, his announced expansion plans to the northeast, and both players still surprisingly even at this point. Google Frog, his economy investment hasn't quite paid off yet. He does have, he's ahead by about four metal and four energy. But it's not huge at this point. And Kube trying to... Well, not trying to get rid of that. Not really doing any good job. Having to move his glaze out of the way. The wisest course of action. Both players set up for a fight. But it looks like Google Frog will be the first to initiate. Or at least he is... Looks like he's planning on. He was selecting his glaze. Looks like he was going for... Going out to fight. Kube is better prepared for this, however. He does have more units in position... But he needs to wait for Google Frog to attack. He is setting up, actually both players are setting up a nice little front line around the south side of the map. On the north side of the map, Google Frog is getting some defenses going, some laser turrets, some defenders. And Cube getting himself some defenders around these two metal extractors, but not really doing too much else with them. And now the battle has started at the center of the map, and Google Frog did move forward. Cube was able to just hold back and defend and is able to get rid of these plays, so Google Frog has to retreat with those, losing at least 70% of them. Will be coming in, however, he's coming in from a terrible angle, or at least he was. Cube did move his units back, they were in a great line. And Tix giving Google Frog a false sense of security coming in, but these glaives are flanking very nicely. Cube's glaives are flanking Google Frogs very nicely and getting rid of them before his rectors go down. Though Cube not quite able to micromanage as well, and Google Frog able to still pull it out, getting rid of the rector and the glaives, and only and keeping two glaives of his own, though. Still a tough fight, still a bad position, but Google Frog very nicely pulled that out with the micromanagement there. And Cube continued to expand along the northeast side of the map. The east side of the map is entirely his. At this point, Cube, the Glaze really are doing well based on micro, but Tix wouldn't be a miss for him either. A warrior might be a bit too heavy. I, I think a warrior would probably end up being just. I mean, think about it, a warrior is slow, and this map isn't that small. I believe it's 12 by 12. Which Warning. would mean that the warrior would take about, I think, 40 or 50 seconds to get from where it is to this front line over here. From here would be about 20 seconds or so. And actually, a warrior is being built. It would be nice to get rid of the glaze. The only problem is that because it's so slow, you have to be careful of positioning it. And if you keep it in good shape and you avoid having it get Warning. killed, System then you're fine. But the problem is that it's still, it's money that could have been spent on glaze. It's time that could have been spent on glaze. And so you are somewhat ceding map control as a result. However, Cube is trying to make over this by attacking the metal extractors at the same time, which he is actually managing to get Google Frog behind an economy. Google Frog right now has 17 metal and 27 power, so his power is economy is still fine, but his metal economy is now on par with Cube's. Partly because of the overdrive. Actually, no, the overdrive isn't really coming up right now. Cube does not have enough excess energy for the overdrive to come up. Cube actually does need more power plants at this point, but his main base can be nicely defended. However, his commander moving forward, his commander is being stunned. It does have beam laser. It doesn't have e-cell. Cube not at all focused on using his commander for economy, which is going to pay off right now since he's about to die. Imminent. There goes that commander. Google Frog only losing two blazes as a result of the explosion. Once again, nice maneuvering there. At this point, Google Frog has 
14 glaives, actually 16 glaives coming in along this front line, and the south front line has no glaives, but a lot of static defense. Google Frog has the entire the entire west side of the map here. This is all Google Frogs, and this is Cubits. And Google Frog about to take out this side of the map too. There is not a whole lot Cubits is going to be able to do about this top right side. He has his commander here defending for a little while, but once again, like I said earlier in this game, defenders do not do well against large groups of raiders. Now, Cubase's main base with the Warriors, that's going to be the big Unit thing. Under attack. And Warriors on this map, like I said, do the sides, it's a little bit tricky to make them work. But at this point, Cubase really is on defense. The big thing is he needs to find a way of pushing out. If he can get rid of these Glaives, which really ticks would probably be the best option for Floki. But if he can get rid of these Glaives, he could try to push out. The Warriors could do a solid push along the southwest side of the, or south side of the map. I think that might be what he's trying to do. Get rid of the glaives and then push along the south side of the map. Get rid of the defenses. Get rid of the commander. Five glaive. Let's see. What level's commander? Level one. Yeah. A level one commander will fall to about three warriors actually. Five warriors be overkill, but against the defenses, it's not a bad idea to have that many. And more are being produced. Cube is entirely focused on warrior production. He's stopped glaive production completely. He's not bothering with trying to take map control, but he is trying to keep himself going. And I think. I think that's going to be basically this last stand. Here we are, going, like I said, pushing to the south, trying to get that. We do see Glaives along here, and they are going to be going in for an attack. They might go for an attack. At this point, Warriors are doing exactly as I said. They are getting rid of those defenses, no problem. Google Frog retreating his commander wisely, and the Glaives coming in for a flank. But even then, it, Warriors are notoriously hard to flank with Raiders, and that commander taking a ton of damage, but the other two warriors not in position to finish it off, and a Napalm Bomber from Google Frog. I have not been focusing on his base, I apologize. But Napalm Bombers have been being built, and one for Google Frog taking out the warriors. That is, I think, game. I, Yubei th may have a way out of this. I don't think he does, though. No, he does not, and he's thrown in the towel in four times economy for Google Frog. That is, that is not a surprising situation to surrender from. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll be back with another match. Not Google Frog versus Yubei, however. It'll be a different match. It'll be, again, Sackcloth versus God. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up shortly.